So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together a gaming computer for as cheap as $137.50. Since I wanted to keep the price down to the absolute bare minimum, I went looking on eBay for pre-built computers as well as Craigslist. And after doing a ton of searching, I found a great deal on eBay for an HP Compact 8200. I ended up buying the computer for $112.50. Let me explain to you why that's such a great deal. Inside that computer is an i5-2400 processor. It is quad core and is clocked at 3.1 gigahertz with a 3.4 turbo max frequency. That processor by itself is worth around $100 used. So the processor alone is basically worth what I paid for the entire computer. I'm getting a 500 gigabyte hard drive, an optical drive, the motherboard, the case, the power supply, all for like $12. If you're trying to build a computer on a budget, that's literally a dream come true. Now, if you're thinking, oh, you just bought a computer for $112, like why don't you just install games on that if it's so good and just play it? Well, that's because for video games, you need to have a graphics card. The issue is that with this computer, it is what you would call a small form factor case, which basically means it's super skinny and the regular graphics cards you would get for computers are actually too big to fit inside that case. So I started looking for low profile graphics cards. Low profile graphics cards are the kinds that are really skinny and don't need to be powered by an external power source, AKA the power supply within your computer. So after looking and looking and looking, I finally found what I thought to be the best option for low end gaming. Again on eBay, I found an AMD R7 250 low profile graphics card for $25. Now for you nerds out there, I know that you think that this isn't that great of a card simply because it has two gigabytes of DDR3 memory rather than the DDR5 memory that most graphics cards have today. But let me re-emphasize the point, this is for low end gaming. We're talking the other bottom side of the spectrum. I wasn't looking to spend that extra money so that I could run games like GTA 5. That simply wasn't the priority and honestly, if you are looking to play games on a low budget like League of Legends or Dota, you probably don't have the money to be spending $60 on Grand Theft Auto 5 or Witcher 3 anyways. As for the installation, it was actually pretty straightforward. I took the R7 250, found the PCI Express slot I wanted to put it in, popped that sucker in, closed the case, turned it on, made sure that the Windows 7 copy was installed. Yes, this computer is so old that it came with Windows 7. Downloaded Chrome, because honestly, Internet Explorer is for kids that eat glue. Downloaded the correct drivers for the graphics cards, and started doing some benchmarks. And honestly, the benchmarks for as cheap as this computer is kind of blew my mind. I tested League of Legends at the absolute highest settings and for less demanding situations in the game, I was getting around 150 frames per second and for really complex team fights in the game, at the highest settings it dropped to around 70 frames per second. Then I benchmarked with Unige in Heaven and this is where things got kind of interesting. Because of the DDR3 memory, the graphics card isn't able to have that massive bandwidth where it can you know, send the information back and forth that it needs to. The game would actually only run at the lowest settings and would get 40 frames per second. However, for this computer to be able to run Unige in Heaven at all was impressive enough for me. And then my last benchmark was Cinebench R15. I ended up getting around 50 frames per second. And as for the render test, I believe I got a score of around 400. I don't have the numbers right in front of me, but I'll put it up on the screen. And honestly, at the end of the day, I just, I'm, I'm surprised what $137.50 was able to accomplish. Anybody could do this. And for less than it would cost for an Xbox, a PS4, and most laptops. And before I get going, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone that has supported and watched this channel so far. And for those of you that wanna see more, I highly suggest that you subscribe because I may or may not have a Coffee Lake processor coming in the mail at the end of the month, and I may or may not have some really sick parts coming in the mail to complement it. So... Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. And if you wanna see more of this content, please, 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 please leave this video a like. I know it's really cringy, but please do. And just have a good day.